I'm so excited about today's 11 by 14 inch canvas. It's got the modeling paste that I love, a cool use of tissue paper, and lots of other fun techniques. If you're interested in the stencils I'm using, just click on the PayHip link below to purchase my digital download files. This will give you instant access to my supply list and instruction sheet, stencil SVG cut files, and my print for hand cut tracing or transfer files. So let's get started. I used to have a lot of newspaper laying around, but not as much anymore. I'm trying to make my sheets kind of the same size, but I'm not really freaking out about it. Not sure how many I'm going to use, so I'm just trying to get a good mix of colored and plain. And then I'm going to take my Mod Podge and start up decoupaging it onto my canvas. I like to put a little water in my Mod Podge so it's a little bit thinner. I like to lay it down, then put some on top, and then smoosh my finger over it to get my bubbles out. And then when I'm all done, I'll take a baby wipe or a paper towel and tap all over to make sure everything's even and has a nice texture. I'm going to fold my tissue paper into strips and then I'm going to cut the edges so they're all free and then I'm going to fold it over again and then I'm going to cut a whole bunch of little pieces of tissue paper. canvas is dry so I'm cutting off the edges of the newspaper and then mixing up some paints and then I'm going to start applying my paints with the side of my hand or my fingers this is a really fun technique for me and then I use a baby wipe to just go in and blend my colors a little bit now because of that nice Mod Podge background, I can add color and then use my baby wipe to take some of the color away and just keep going until I get everything just like I want it. Adding a little off-white now with my baby wipe just to push everything back and calm some of those really bright colors down a bit. I'm using my hummingbird stencil and my dauber, which is a makeup sponge and a clothespin, and just marking really quick my hummingbird uh, so that I know where it's going to go. Mixing up a couple different greens, darker, one darker, one lighter, and then I'm going to go in and start stenciling on my stems. I like to put my darkest color down and then tap in just a little bit of the lighter color here and there and just to give it a little bit of dimension and then I'm going to use my heat tool in between so that I'm not smearing my stencil in my paint. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and put my little flower bases on turning my stencil this way and that so I have my little field of bee balm is going all kinds of directions. Give it some good movement. Now using my stencil to stencil on my leaves. Turning them as I go so they're facing different directions. Now I'm going to add in a little bit of my off-white to my green and make a lighter color and then go in and use my long liner brush to put in the veins of my leaves. I've got my Mod Podge out and I'm going to put some out for each flower. Put a big clump of my tissue paper and Mod Podge it on the top got it pushed down I'm not worried about bubbles and like I normally am with Mod Podging. I want it to be raised and lots of texture.
Once I've got my flowers on, I'm going to go in with my Mod Podge and make sure I've got a good coat over everything. And then I'll take a baby wipe and tamp all over just to make sure that I've got the same texture everywhere and it's nice and even. With my canvas dry, I'm going to put a nice thick coat of modeling paste through my stencil. And then I'm going to use my toothpick to clean up any edges that might have gone over. I've cut a little piece of felt to put over my dauber and then I'm just kissing my hummingbird all over just to give him a little bit of texture. Looks like I've got a few areas to clean up here on the tail. You see me talking to the camera every once in a while. I originally created this as a kit I was selling on Etsy. With a thin application, you won't have as much cleanup, but with a thicker application of this paste, I always have a little bit more cleanup. And it'll take longer to dry the thicker it is. If it's a thin application, this dries within 20 minutes. My hummingbird is dry, and now it's time to start painting. I designed this little guy uh, after an Anna's hummingbird which has that nice bright pink on his head and the green on his back. So pretty and vibrant. I love painting on a Mod Podge surface because it's super easy to go clean up any areas that I might have gone over when I'm, when I'm working on really thick modeling paste especially. Going in with a little dark gray on his beak. I've got a couple of pictures online and that I'm looking at on my phone and now I'm going to just start going through and putting some detail on my hummingbird. I'm mixing up my magenta with a little bit of red for his head color and I'm mixing a little bit of my metallic white in so we have some sparkliness because he looks like he has my original picture looks like he has some sparkliness Then I'm going to line up my stencil and use that to put on his headdress and then I'll touch up with my brush. Then I'll take a little bit of my red, put a little bit of that in here and there. Now I'm using my trusty toothpick to add in his eye. And then just a little bit of my off-white to add some detail. 
mixing up a lighter lime green for his body. I'm going to put a little bit of that metallic white in there to make it shiny again. Then I'm going to cut off the end of my dauber and I'm ready to use my stencil and put on the green. I can get it lined up properly. Yay, she did it. Now I'm mixing a little Brit of Brit, a little bit of my brown with water and putting it on my wings to darken them up a bit. And now to finish up, I'm going to tap just a little bit of red and pink on top of my flowers. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd also love to hear from you if you want to leave me a comment. Until next time.